Welcome everybody to another episode of Let's Play Supreme Lord 2020 as Mexico in the Mexico Expand Scenario. Last up we were just holding up, or rather preparing for the hope inevitable possible attack on the Confederacy's capital of New Orleans while the American Union tries to make its push down from the north, which has not been successful recently. Continue first. And also we managed to make peace bear of course, we did, of course we are at peace with the American Union and the Independent Federation right now. So there's never really not much to do than also to uh, prepare for any expansion against, say, the American Union, which is not going to be easy with the amount of uh, resources we have as being rather <coughs> limited. As for the rest of the world, Russia is once again strong now. It's a, despite its economy problems, it's still going to hold out. And, oh, slight lag. Oh well. But it uh, looks like they might actually not fall, actually. So that's a bit of a... Yeah, I suppose disappointment for those who actually declared war on them. Mongolia is still alive. Despite nearly being split in two by uh, the Chinese forces and Russia and Russian. In Southeast Asia, the Chinese forces have made some rather impressive push but it's not really managed to make a decisive victory in some areas India not gonna say as usual since it's, it's going to be the same story no matter what with the uh, Indo-Pakistani war being installed uh, elsewhere it's not much Israel oh what let's see Iran wants to give 622.63 million dollars uh, hmm. For military goods. Are we allied? Yes, we are. So, I suppose that's fine to accept. As I was saying, Israel wants a regional power uh, after conquering Lebanon and Jordan. Now, once again, has pretty much become the shadow of its former self. Jordan making a split. Saudi Arabia here making an interesting expansion up into former not Jordan I mean Syrian territory Egyptian man yeah, there's nothing to say about them in the Balkan region Hungary and Romania have been seems like they're just gonna constantly take and regain territory other parts the Czech Republic seems to be the usual Germany meanwhile is not at war with any neighbor at all. Mostly against, say, neighbors that are kind of more beyond Poland, so to speak. Which reminds me, are they? No, they're not allied, of course. Sweden is under attack by both sides of Finland and Norway. Except Finland has just lost most of its northern territory, except this patch. So, it won't be long before they might fall if the Russians make a push. In Europe, the Italians have halted French expansion. Elsewhere, oh, uh, Kenya, one billion dollars. And once again, military goods, I suppose that's fine. Ah, the Congo Democratic Republic has actually made some expenses. Not so sure if they can actually take out Angola, as Angola, despite having no allies, is rather quite powerful, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me? South America, nothing to say. Not even the Caribbean. Except Venezuela's at war against Brazil, of course, and Germany. As they are under... As they are attacking some... German overseas territory. At any rate. Okay, I guess they're under attack by uh, some sh Confederate ship that's somewhere out here. So I guess that's one thing to think about. The American Union has bypassed and doesn't seem like they're going to attack Kenner. But for our sake, it's best to move in and see if we can take uh, Natair. Okay, already lost the tank. That's gonna retreat. Un it's 
well as under attack by a Confederate ship. Nah, you can retreat. Available unit construction, go ahead. Okay, this doesn't seem like it's gonna end well. Some of the American Union is actually gonna try it, gonna kinda do their part, I guess. Uh, a towed 155 millimeter howitzer unit. Now, I'll accept that design. Wow, only one Bradley left and it's already taking. Oh god. Okay. Supply truck may need to move away. Probably down here? Probably not a good idea. But the Confederates have lost a lot. They barely have any resources left. Most of the former Texan territory is under, Mexican con under our control. Florida is cut off and isolated. Ah, oh, tech level and new research has been finished. Well, that's fine. Still got a lot of stuff to deal with, but in time we might be able to hopefully research more in an IS-3. Okay. <laughs> Another really old tank that's still in service. That's going to be in service. Or still in service, actually. I have very little planes left. Or whatever aircraft I have. Uh, the Cubans... No, oh, they're finally at war with the Confederacy, but none of their ships has entered Florida territory, actually. So that's... Would have been interesting to see if actual first uh, Cuban Empire being born in their capture of maybe half of Florida, maybe, but... I highly doubt that's ever going to happen. I could be wrong, but I still doubt. Come on, take that. Well, there's still some of the Confederate Air Force is still alive. And they're retreating. And some vehicles. Not all are going to go back. They're going to some many are of course are going to have to retreat after all. Nothing much going on here that I can send my infantry up. And maybe border with the American Union and just slowly take this over. It's gonna be a slow process. Uh, no, 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 no. You go up here. Head to this direction and... Get bombarded at the same time. How does that make any sense? I don't get it. I really don't. There's nothing much to do. Okay, the Confederate capital is now under attack. Hopefully, might be able to take New Orleans. At least, I hope it will be us, not the American Union. Ah, they still got... Cross. Ah, the American Union took it. And yep, I figured. The American Union took the rest of the territory. <laughs> Whereas on my side, though, well, most of the ships are gone, but the rest of the territory is under our control now. Hardly anything else. And Puerto Rico is under our control. Whatever ships that are out here is also kind of fell under under our control as well. So, yeah. Bangladesh? Eh. Probably no point. But, at least Mex at least the Confederacy's gone, and we've gained some of our territory with this unusual look over here. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the hell's with this look, but... Eh. But, uh, since I didn't send any infantry up here, all of these is now under the control of the American Union now. 
Well, at the same time, I gotta start building some supply depots, just so we don't lose supplies. That quickly, that, that is. Uh, how about... No, not Fort Worth, it's completely full. Arlington. One in Arlington. One in... Here, in Horrors. One over here. And I think that's about it, just so we can be ready in case the American Union decides to uh, declare war again. And also one in here as well. Yeah. That's uh, not what I went, what I uh, meant to do, but... Okay. I'll uh, go to DEFCOM 3, keep everything on, not low, but medium. As much as I want to just have everybody reserved, that always was a bit of a disaster, so best to just wait. Well, at the same time, guys, I, I guess I better build a supply depot on Puerto Rico. Probably in Ponce. Supplies are finally slowly moving up. But... Well, at least the Confederacy's gone. Like I said, the Confederacy's gone, but... Yeah, a bit of a disappointment there. Really more disappointment with Cuba. They could've just entered into Florida waters, regardless of the consequences, and perhaps take a little bit of the... Florida. Maybe half of it, or maybe f less. But uh, that didn't happen. At any rate... That's to start sending all damaged units to get repaired. Okay, uh... I think there's more that are need to repair. Ah, here's the destroyer that's been causing problems. Eh, well, uh... Well, that's one headache done. And the only other ship is surviving. A few other ships of the former Confederate Navy is also here. At least I think these were formerly Confederate. Some tanks, several more vehicles are done. Or, it's just standing by. Production is still going smoothly. Got a howitzer under, con under construction. Probably make more artillery just to be safe. That's fine. I have two tanks and a supply truck. Oh, an anti-tank design. Hmm. Let me just check to see if Canada has any designs that could be useful.